Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this video on Ethereum, your daily Ethereum update. Hope you're all doing great, hope you're all, uh, well, hope you all had a great week. It's almost over, almost weekend, so the quiet times are coming again. Um, but uh, in, in this video we still have quite a lot to talk about. We had some, uh, some, some big news, I would argue, for the crypto markets and therefore also very big for Ethereum. So we'll talk about that and just in general we'll also talk about the technicals, basically everything you need to know everything you can expect in these videos so um yeah sit back relax and uh, and, and open your ears uh, right now volume as you can see has has gone down a little bit which is quite surprising but uh, ever, ever since it has dropped down we have been more bullish uh, which you could make some conclusions about i won't do it you could argue that big volume institutions and market makers market makers are more bearish and therefore it's a bearish fundamental but um, I would argue against that. I think it's difficult to say something like that. So forget about that. But what we did here is a crypto lender Genesis, Genesis Global, um, filing for bankruptcy, which is a, the lending unit of Digital Coin Group, which is a huge company in crypto. It's a, it's a venture capital, so kind of like Alameda Research. Um, and their lending unit, this was already kind of priced in, to be honest, because this is pretty big news. This is bad news for some big institutions and uh, big companies in the crypto space. Uh, but we did not see any big drops down. Uh, I think this was already yesterday. Obviously, we talked about the rumors about it. I think then with this bearish move, it was already calculated in a little bit. And I think just during this period of time, there was also a lot of news about it ever since the drop of uh, or the fall of FTX, to be honest. So. Um, I think it was already kind of priced in. It's, it's pretty big news and we're not reacting to it a lot, but this has happened. Filing for bankruptcy, they're now going for a sale, capital raise and or equitization transaction uh, to be able to emerge on their new ownership. So there's still a lot we need to, to, to talk about or there's a lot we need to hear about it. Uh, and then apart from that, also a Gemini co-founder, which Gemini had some uh, strong ties with Genesis. Or strong ties they actually had a lot of monetary lines you know that, that it, 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 it was not like they were friends they were just uh, dealing with each other uh threatened to file a lawsuit uh, because there is still there are still some uh, some some big problems with uh, some of their urn users especially oh excuse me uh so the last word has definitely not been said about this but at least we now got this out of the way uh, Genesis is no more, uh, it is bankrupt, and, um, and, and that's just the status of the market we have to deal with. Then, if we talk about some economic circumstances, you can see that the dollar strength index, and this is more positive, is still dropping down, still respecting this downtrend, so that's all amazing, and um, we're looking to get a new lower low, which to me makes the short-term market uh, sentiment and, and the short-term market circumstances bullish again. Uh, which is also kind of confirmed with our price action. Uh, I actually thought, to be honest, that it was more, more likely, and it could still happen for clarification, but it, it seems less likely now. I thought it would be more likely yesterday that we would drop down a little bit lower to at least like 1480, 1475, uh, which I also said, as long as we're above 1450, we're still bullish, which is still true. Uh, but right now those levels seem very, very far away. Um, but what we did, instead of that is we actually got a minor bullish breakout uh, you can see that right now we're we're in this level which i want to illustrate a little bit we're in this level where you it's, it's a very small level but you have a resistance at 1565 and a support at 1545 and then the main level the main resistance level is 1550 which is also a psychological level of course um, but we're in the middle of that and, and basically what I expect is that because of these fundamentals I do expect us to, to, to get some sort of a bullish breakout through that and that we'll be able to again what we were doing in the, in, in the last week or the majority of last, what, last week then consolidate between 1600 and 1540 again. That's what I expect. That could happen in two ways. Well first of all because we're in this level we could just take a break retest off of 1445 and then break above 1465 and get into that consolidation or we could still drop down a little bit that's not the end of the world if we drop down to like 1500 again uh, then we'll just do something like this like this probably all right so i'm uh, I'm, I'm pretty bullish on ethereum again but these market circumstances remain uh, remain very very risky so um, i'll be back with another update tomorrow i think at least um, so, um, so uh, yeah, I'll see you then. I'll talk to you then. But for now, uh, enjoy the rest. Uh, enjoy the rest of the week, last day. Take care and bye.